Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Plan B Terraform. We, last time we got Nagoya set up with oxygen production. We've got Guangzhou set up with oxygen production. Dhaka is still kind of chugging along on its own, but we started to set up our high-tech part production. Um, that's why we have these polymer bars getting output over here. The next step is to bring aluminum over here. And I realized that I was shipping, I was getting set up to ship steel, and that's wrong. We don't want steel. We want, we want, uh, we want aluminum bars for the high tech parts anyway. We do want mechanical parts as well. Because if I bring you over here and I just plunk down this factory here, we want to make high tech parts for the the C or the greenhouse. I almost called it CO2 emitter. The greenhouse gas manufacturer needs high tech parts. It needs mechanical parts. Mechanical parts we do have being made over here. We If we scroll on over here. We've got these guys getting pumped out. We've also got aluminum bars being made. So maybe what I should do is pivot off of what, I don't know, I had like a total brain fart and I thought I needed more steel. Um, let's get this road up here. I actually think we, we could probably make this road work. We go ahead and delete this whole thing. The, it's really nice that they let you bring back or delete anything and then just reuse it. Very handy from a, a like make make a mistake and, and fix it really easily. Or you're just like, you know what? I wanna I wanna move all my stuff. It's just nice. I like that. We do wanna switch you from I think continuing with extractors maybe. Although we have seven. Alright, let's get rid of you. I wanna hold off on that. And then I would like to switch you over to trucking. We're good on on assemblers. We have seven right now. We've actually hit the limit of our, our assembly plant. So trucks are important now because we'll need to get these aluminum bars and these mechanical parts shifted over here. Aluminum bars are for making the high tech parts. And now I'm trying to think like, how would I want to set this up Ideally, you would have an, a depot for the aluminum, a depot for the polymer, and then your factory like right next to it. And then you do the same thing over here. But it's going to be kind of tricky to get the aluminum to the other side of the city without getting like all tangled up. So this should be aluminum bar. This should also be aluminum bar. We need a road to deliver here. Easy, easy peasy. The other road is a little trickier. Can I just run it straight through Nagoya? <laughs> It'd be cool if there was a bridge. Can I go through? Nope, I have to go around. So, let's try and think. So you guys are gonna output, you guys are gonna output your high-tech parts. Those will go like towards the middle. High-tech part. I take part. And then we need an output for... We need an output for the... Or an input, I should say, for the aluminum... Or the mechanical part. So you are going to be... Mechanical part here. So the trucks are going to have to go here, drop off aluminum. Other trucks are going to go here, drop off mechanical part. And then other trucks are going to continue and drop off aluminum as well. We'll take an assembler and drop that down right in the middle and set that to greenhouse gas generator. And now trucks are going to be coming in. So let's start with this truck. Zoom all the way over here. And you're going to grab aluminum bars. Perfect. Next truck, and we need a little more road here. Next truck, start at the aluminum bars as well and deliver to this one. And then 
another truck on top of everything else, and that one's going to be delivering mechanical parts right there. Bang. Now, we have three different things going on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> so, the annual transport capacity of this guy is five. This one is four. Oh, I've got it backwards. You guys, you guys should be delivering to these places. Okay, we've got it. The one was just backwards because I, I drew it the other way, which is incorrect. But yeah, it looks like number of trucks per supply line is close to the number of parts that are delivered. We need one high-tech part and one mechanical part. We're going to be hitting like a max of mechanical parts, or not mechanical parts. We're going to be hitting a max of high-tech parts here very shortly. So I almost think it would be worthwhile to get another mechanical part. And as much as I maligned myself for having this guy set up over here, maybe it does make sense to have a separate set of manufacturers to make mechanical parts that we could then deliver to Nagoya on top of everything. We do need to start making more depots. So as much... <laughs> I ripped that guy uh, apart, and then I was like, actually, I might need to bring that little that little assembler back. Or is it is it a factory? I think it's an assembly plant that, that makes depots, right? It sure does. So let's go. Don't make extractors. Make a depot. We're just, like, siphoning some of the steel bars off to make depots with. And I think this will work. It's all about about getting this greenhouse gas generator production up and running. Because we need to increase the temperature of the planet by one degree. It's at negative 58 Celsius, which is pretty cold. Did you know negative 40 Celsius and negative 40 Fahrenheit are the exact same temperature? Fun fact. For me. I don't know about you. <laughs> We could also get you guys up and running. I know... Because th this guy will eat as much as we can feed him, essentially. How's the depot production going? I almost wonder if I... Do I need more trucks at this point? Because we don't have, like, stuff being delivered anyway. Right, we, made a, we made a single depot. Maybe we just let it chunk along for now. And then we can just add trucks, trucks to the supply line. Wrong. I shouldn't put that there. I should put it here. And then the second one should go here to feed this guy. And then a third. And then this guy is totally superfluous. It's just to get production of this guy even higher. How you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah, I think I want to boost this one as high as it can go, since right now that's going to be kind of our limiting factor. They're sitting they're sitting on so many... They're like, oh, we can't keep up with the high-tech... Or we can't keep up with the mechanical parts. We have so many high-tech parts flowing in from all over the country. Problem is, there's not even, like, a great secondary field of aluminum to be pulling from. It's all right here, for, for Nagoya anyway. Guangzhou, we could be pulling aluminum from this field, and we probably will be um, once we try to get this guy up and running. But we need even more depots, so th this is secondary to getting Nagoya off the ground. Especially because we don't have any more extractors either. I think once we have a, a little backlog of depot, we, we, we could go ahead. I'm going to delete that guy for now to funnel more stuff into the depot. Um, once we have a backlog of more depots, we, we can start working on getting Guangzhou up and, up and running as well. Is any truck out here delivering 
mechanical parts? Is that a mechanical part? It sure is. Fantastic news. There it is. I guess I, I need to get used to using the mini-map as well, because I've just been zipping across, like, the planet with WASD. And I could definitely see people getting, <laughs> like, whiplash from that. Oh, we got two two mechanical parts have been delivered. Fantastic news. Yeah, just keep throwing all of your trucks in here. We're we're slow on the uh, the mechanical part uptake, and it needs three mechanical parts for every high tech part we're producing. So high tech parts are gonna be fine for the nearish future. It could become a limiting factor eventually, but um, right now not so much. So steel bar. This one is high tech part or a uh, mechanical part. And this one is for more iron ore. Great. And we might want to steal some trucks from this production line once this guy gets up and running. Oh, it's already pumping out mechanical parts. Holy cow. How did that happen so fast? <laughs> Hold on. Trucks. Oh, we don't have any. All right. Give me, give me two trucks back. Just so I can set this other line up. I'm doing it again. Click. There, oh, wrong. There we go. And we want to deliver to this other line. And we put two trucks on there. Great. Why don't we do half and half? So 10, 7, 1, 2. All right, it's 9 and 8. Great. Fantastic. Now, if we wanted to set you up, it would be a factory to... We need aluminum to go into the factory here to make high-tech parts. This would be high-tech parts. This would be aluminum bars, which would get delivered from this other field of aluminum over here. So if I click on you, I zoom way the hell out. We still need... Probably like right... Right a ish... Right here ish. So we need quite a few more roads to make that work. We need more extractors now on top of everything. We have two depots, but we'd need at least a minimum of three depots to make that setup work for for aluminum. Okay, so we've made three depots. Let's shift you back to making extractors because we'll need at least <laughs> we'll need at least three extractors. We could get away with it with one. It'll just be very slow. If I pun punch you down like here. Yeah, like right there. Aluminum. This one makes aluminum bars. Oh, I guess we only need two now that I think about it. We'd like to see two more extractors here, and then we need to extend the road all the way to this guy. So just make a, a nice straight line between the two. It, it looks like we'll probably need like 30-ish road to finish that. So then on top of that, here we need mechanical parts. And that's going to have to come from all the way down here as well, because there's no readily accessible iron field for Guangzhou, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so this is why we're d waiting on Nagaya to finish all of our greenhouse gas production. Good news is we have four, so why don't we go ahead and just, like, plunk it down? I don't even know where we should put it. Like, the, it doesn't need to be next to anything, does it? The more abundant a gas is, the less effective in releasing more will be. It can make sulfur hexafluorite or nitrogen trifluorate into the atmosphere. Both are thousands of times more potent than CO2. Very interesting. But let's go ahead and just like, <laughs> let's just drop them down. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. I It totally makes sense now that we need nitrogen trifluorate or sulfur hexafluorite. So you need either... Sulfur, well, I guess it's just sulfur or fluorite. I don't know where you'd get the nitrogen from. Maybe that comes later. 
let's pull that one off. Where is fluorite? Here it is. I got it. I understand what needs to be done. We need to mine some fluorite. We need to mine some sulfur. And we need to meet in the middle around our, our super, our super, uh, greenhouse gas producing <laughs> factory in the middle there. That's the plan. All right. I, I, audible. None, none aluminum for now. Right now, the important thing is to get all of this sulfur and alumin or uh, and fluorite functioning. Such a small sulfur field, but we can make it work. I, I have faith. There's a second sulfur field over here, actually. The fluorite field is probably the other one that's more important. Maybe we should do a quick cursory glance around, see if there's any better fluorite fields anywhere. Let's go. Let's shift to the to the minerals view i've barely used this thing yeah there's the fluorite field or a fluorite field here's the original one i was looking at it looks like fluorite is in very small quantities this one's actually really close here and here's a pretty big sulfur field so may maybe let's set it up here this is a little bit of a bigger a bigger fluorite field so let's go for Construction of you. One, two, three. Depot. Same thing in the sulfur field. One, two, three. Depot. And the cool thing is, we don't have to refine them at all. We just need to bring them to a spot in the middle. So. Just. I'm not even sure how I should do this. Because we got so many factories now. So we could do... If we put a depot down, you could build factories around it. But I kind of like the idea of having a road that they build around. So maybe... I think we're just gonna have to do it. It's gonna be like difficult to like envision just how it looks without actually actually making it happen. All right, finish your extractor here, and then go back to depot making. Depot. Is this factory not keeping up? It feels like it's like not, which is kind of wild because you make thirty bars per cycle. And these guys make... Oh, wait a minute. My math was, like, way off. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I needed so many more extractors. Because these are making 40, 45, and these, these only take in 30. I'm crazy. Anyway. What we could do is throw down another factory here. And then you have four extractors... That makes sense. Because these four extractors will feed this one guy. This this would be a prime one to have two drones on. So it could be shifting iron back and forth between the two. Uh, much faster. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. We would like to get our depot for... It's not, it's not great. Like, the only way you can get this to go... Because you need a depot, two depots for one greenhouse gas emitter in between the two. It also needs way more fluorite than it needs sulfur. Or I guess it's one to one. Never mind. I thought it would have been one sulfur and six fluorite, um, but that is not the case. We also need to get our hands on some trucks again. So maybe we come back down here. And then maybe what we want to do is instead of like li lining these guys up to to like work off of the same line, I think we should have a separate dedicated line that is just delivering. Well, that should be mechanical part. 
um, that is just delivering these higher higher tier components so like trucks and whatnot not steel bar I want a mechanical component me mechanical part I get all the names mixed up too so you're making mechanical parts we're working backwards here and then you're making steel bars which is what you're producing and you need two extractors to be filling this guy but what we could do is we could do the double factory thing where you're also making steel bars and then you have four extractors feeding that The one that I don't quite get is why this one is so much faster. Like this guy, maybe it's because these drones are relatively slow. I'm not sure. But I don't know why I thought I needed three, three uh, extractors feeding one factory. It's one of those one of those mysteries of being a YouTuber. <laughs> the math doesn't work out. All right, so this will be good. We'll get more trucks. Just let that run and we this is where the tag thing would come in handy uh, this guy landmark tower so we've made quite a few roads how, how many are we at 52 right now we could pause our road production real quick here or maybe because we're so backed up on concrete here maybe we want to make a second uh, assembler that just does landmark towers for a bit here and then maybe let's make a limit on landmark towers, like, really low. Like, have three at a time. Because I can't imagine I need that many landmark towers. But this one would be really nice, because it's just, like, out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know what's going on with it. Alright, one truck. Oh, whoop. Truck, gather the sulfur, and bring it to... Bring it to the factory. So this is where I was a little... I'm not confused, but I'm like, what is the best way of even orienting this thing? Because I don't know... Actually, it would be better if we, we put a second factory. And then we actually move this guy. So at the very least, you can share... A depot for two things. I don't know how fast production of of sulfur fluoride hexafluoride is gonna be. But at least we can share it between two factories. And then if you wanted to do more, you could kind of do a funny little network thing. So we could do plop two here and then another fluorite delivery this is gonna get really messy down in here but at least you could reuse the thing i should probably stop production in nagoya of the the, <laughs> the greenhouse gas emitter or at least put a limit on it maybe 10 is our limit just so we don't keep chunking through and maybe that assembler could be used to make a different thing that uses high-tech and uh, mechanical parts later. Alright, Landmark Tower exists. What do we call you? Can I can I rename you? Oh, type something. Hell yeah. Green House. Whoops. Oh, it's all in caps. <laughs> My caps lock is on. Greenhouse Gases. I will just call it gas. Bookmark? Yeah. Oh, that's really sick. I didn't even know you could do that. New tech. If you want to go to a city, just click on it on the right side or one of your, your towers. Dude, that's awesome. You learn something new every day. All right, so now we've got our, our other trucks here. And we'll try to keep them as, as equal as possible because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We've got the sulfur. Now all we need to get our hands on is the fluorite. And here it comes. Ooh, I'm excited. Get ready to see what it looks like up close and personal. Oh, it's doing the thing. Look at it go. Now, what are the bets? How, how long do you think this is going to take to raise the, the temperature of the planet by one degree? Oh, it's going. 
it's up to 0 .2, 0 0.02 already. <laughs> I'm like more excited than I've ever been. We're actually terraforming. How cool. Oh, we ran out of juice. <laughs> we definitely need more trucks from the fluorite side of things. Just keep throwing trucks into it. It, it. it is a little bit of a longer journey from the fluorite field. I did not place my... <laughs> which is a bit of an oversight. I did not place my factories directly in the middle between the two, which is... Uh, oops. My bad. That's okay. We don't need to be 100% efficient. Hey, there we go. We're doing it. It's going to take us a while, but... That's pretty cool. More trucks. Roads are still being built at a prodigious rate. I don't really need... I, I think we only have the... The three cities. I don't know if you ever get another city. Daka's looking pretty cool. We've hit the limit of the concrete production over here. Is that because... Oh. It's because... <laughs> I'm stupid. I, it's because we, uh... We never moved the trucks. They pulled all the concrete off of the old platform and then they never went down to the new delivery line. Oops, I'm sorry, DACA. They're like, help. We need we need something to help us grow. They've got 48 annual s supply of oxygen. I gotta get used to clicking on the, the city instead. The annual supply of reinforced concrete or the annual demand of reinforced concrete is 15 we're way above that with oxygen oh i think i screwed this up too isn't this all normal concrete oops what just happened no this is reinforced concrete this is normal concrete oh that's what i was doing with that Man, this is what happens when you don't record for a while. Is, uh, this is what I was using, I was setting up for with regards to reinforced concrete. Was I was gonna link the two. I understand what was happening now. <laughs> Everybody who's seen the last episode and then this one is like, what happened? Did he lose his mind? Somewhat. Yes. <laughs> but, if we want to make reinforced concrete in Nagoya... I almost think I've set this up in a weird way. It should actually be just dumping the the reinforced concrete into this guy here. So we'll, let's grab a factory real quick and drop him right there. And then this guy can pull concrete from here. This delivery should go uh, there, I guess. And then there should be another depot that feeds this guy's steel bars. Right here. I figured it out eventually. <laughs> we could also delete you two because you're not really doing anything. And we might as well connect the road here. So this is the craziest road I've ever seen. Maybe we do it like that. So now we can pull, we could set up iron bar production separate from any of this stuff because this is all servicing other things. Um, and we bring it all the way around here and then we'll set up another delivery line. But we'll need more extractors, more fa uh, factories. So let's come back over here real quick. Greenhouse gas. There we go. How are you guys doing? We're at 0.25 degrees. We're making it work. We just have to keep an eye on our, our fluorite production. We have 374, 278, 393. So this field should service us for quite a while. I don't know how many degrees we'll... I mean, I, I assume we'll probably want to get it up to like... At least 20 for an average of celsius so <laughs> we'll see how how long it takes us to get to one degree um but it seems to be working for now we could get our we could try to produce more stuff but we're already kind of at the limit of 
of, of our fluorite production, so we should probably be focusing on more of the truck delivery aspect than anything else. We could also... This is all full, though, so more extractors is not going to help us. We need to, we need to balance out the delivery uh, line before we can start amping up the production of fluorite. And then, subsequently, once these two start backing up by, like, an appreciable amount, then we could start making even more uh, greenhouse gas machines. So, but that's the plan. We're going to continue our... Our production of the, of the gases keep warming up the planet, and uh, we'll we'll see where it takes us. So, if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see more Plan B, Terraform, or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.